The wheels on the bus go round and round. Helen Harrison softly sings a nursery rhyme to her eight-month-old daughter, Anya, while looking straight into her eyes. Her daughter returns the gaze. A moment later, Harrison sings the same rhyme, looking away. Mother and baby both wear special skull caps, equipped with sensors that pick up their brain waves and send them to a computer for analysis. Victoria Long heads the baby LINC lab at the University of Cambridge. This is the first demonstration that babies have these amazing abilities to lock onto adults' brain activity, and we think that this is to do with their ability to detect gaze as a cue for readiness to communicate and readiness to engage. Brain waves of 36 pairs of infants and adults clearly show the degree of synchronization depends on their eye contact. The surprising discovery was that the greatest synchronization happened when the adult's head was turned away, but her eyes were still locked with the baby's eyes. When she's looking away, but her head, but her eyes are back this way, it makes her look much more intentional in her meaning to communicate with the infant, because she must be deliberately looking back for some reason. And so we think that increase in intentionality could be what's driving the synchronicity between the pair. The baby's intentions to communicate were measured by the number and length of vocalizations they made. The babies who vocalized the longest had the strongest synchronization with adults, which scientists say may make learning more effective. It might be the case that direct eye contact between infants and caregivers stimulates communicative development and language development. Scientists say the evidence shows that synchronicity between the infants and adults' brains was greater when both showed greater intention to communicate. George Putich, VOA News.